Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. First of all, we've got to report some good news. Santi Cozzola, or Cofola, as people are always telling me to say, has signed a brand new contract to Arsenal. Well, actually, not a brand new contract. He's had his contract, his current contract, extended by a year. Arsenal have taken up the option. And uh, Santi Cozzola, who's 32 years of age, we know at the moment he's been out injured, been out injured practically the whole season with this uh, Achilles injury. Um, Arsenal have taken up the option. They actually took it up um, last month. And it's just been revealed uh, through some paperwork that's been seen at the FA. So that means that Santi will be at Arsenal next season. And for me, it makes sense uh, all round. Makes sense in that you're rewarding a player that's been at Arsenal for a very long time. So you're showing a bit of loyalty to that player. It makes sense that because even though he's 32 and he's got this injury, he's still a very, very fit guy. Um, when he's not on the injury table of Drew for his injury. But he is a very fit player. Um, he doesn't come across as an a ageing 32-year-old player. He's still magic on the ball. And also, it makes sense because if you extend his contract and anybody wants to come in and buy him, you can get more money for him, which is you know, always something that they love at Arsenal. So, But I think all round a good bit of business to extend his contract, just like we've done with Per Mertesacker, and uh, Santi will be at Arsenal next season. What does that mean for Jack Wilshire? Um, Jack Wilshire, of course, who's out on loan at the moment at Bournemouth, doing very, very well at Bournemouth. You know, they, 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 you know, I was chatting to a Bournemouth fan the other day, and he's been saying, you know what, this guy is just different class, Robbie, on the pitch. You know, he just reads the game the way... What we know Jack can do. Jack has got it, and he stayed injury-free down there. And uh, there was even somebody suggesting to me the other day that we should um, bring Jack Wilshire back to Arsenal, but let him train at Bournemouth. That way he'll stay fit. <laughs> um, but Jack Wilshire is wanted at the moment by AC Milan. Now, there's a publication over in Italy called Calcio Mercato. They're reporting that AC Milan are making inquiries. They would like to bring uh, Jack Wilshire um, over to, to the San Siro next season um, Arsenal, as we know, want to sign him on a new contract. 18 months left on his deal. I really would like to see this one get extended before the end of the January transfer window. For me, if it's not, then it seems like there's some sort of problem there. It seems like Jack is having second thoughts. And he's certainly going to have a lot of options. And as I said, what does Santi signing on for another year mean for Jack? Does he say to himself, well, you know what? I might go back to Arsenal and be behind Santi again. Or is Santi being signed as backup to Jack? I mean, you know, we, we don't know. We're not privy to what goes on there at Arsenal, but certainly definitely intriguing. Arsenal linked today with a player, um, highly talented player from Portugal. Goes by the name of Goncalo Guides. I hope I pronounced that right. He plays for Benfica, 20 years of age, a winger, another winger. <laughs> Do Arsenal not realise that we've only got two wings? <laughs> Bit like a chicken. We've only got two wings, but the way we look at wingers, we must have about 10 wings. Um, but listen, um, seriously, he's uh, Portuguese. Now, it's been re re um, reported by the Portuguese outlet called Records. They claim that Arsenal are in negotiations to sign him. Um, his agent, Jorge Mendes, is over in London negotiating. He's uh, scored seven goals with seven assists in 28 appearances this season and is highly, highly rated, only 28 years of age, said to have a 51.8 million release clause, which is a lot of money, but he is only 20, and linked with Arsenal. Again, I'm really unsure about this. Another winger? I mean, you know, even I'm looking at the weekend's game and I'm like, you know, who do we play on the wing? I remember Theo's missing, right? And we've still got options on the wing of playing Oxalade chamberlain of playing Lucas Perez, Iwobi, Alexis. You know, I just don't think we need a winger at the moment. Although, sometimes I do look at games and I say a lot of those guys, they like to cut in a lot. They're not natural wingers who go wide to the byline and get crosses in. So maybe Arsenal might be looking and saying, yeah, but in the future, that's what we want. But I certainly, I don't think this will be a January signing. Rashid Gazelle, we spoke about him earlier on in the week. He keeps coming up and coming up and coming up, being linked with Arsenal. 
uh, Leon player, uh, Moroccan descent, available on a free in the summer, another winger, right, um, but available on a free transfer in the summer and still getting linked with Arsenal a lot. Now, obviously a player that's available on a free in the summer, a very talented player, you're not really going to have to pay a, a transfer fee. And you could also talk to that player, not buy him now. You could also talk to that player and say, listen, join us in the summer and you get him on a free transfer and you just negotiate his wages. Whether Arsenal are talking to him or not, we'll have to wait and see. His agent could be putting it out there to try and up the value of the player, up his wages, um, even with Leon, because he, one of the options is he could obviously stay at Leon. Uh, I think he was on about £9,000 a week wages, I was saying to you guys earlier on in the week. And Leon are offering to up that to like 67000 a massive pay rise. But obviously, there's something going on there and Arsenal still linked to this guy. Again, can't see this one happening for January. Um, let's get into some of your comments. Um, you know, just before I get into the comments, uh, I've still got these... The Football Billionaire. We gave away and, and the guys have been sponsoring the show, so thank you very much to these guys. If you want to buy the game, the link is in the description um, below. Enter the code Arsenal and you get a 10%, sorry, you get a £10 off discount on the game, which I think is fantastic. Thanks, those guys. Great to be able to pass it on to you guys. So that's brilliant. Um, now, listen, I've still been inundated with videos. I was only really running it for two days, but I've still got loads more videos, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and run another competition tomorrow with the videos and we'll give away another copy of Football Billionaire. But cheers to the guys for that. And it's a great game as well. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to try and take on DT or Troops with this next week, right? I'll, we might film the outcome of that. Right, so let's just get into some of your comments from yesterday. Remember, we spoke a lot about Griezmann and the fact that I was very frustrated at the fact that, you know, why can't Arsenal sign a guy like Griezmann or even be in the conversation to be signing this sort of quality? Um, K-Max says, uh, why the hell would Griezmann want to go to Arsenal? Seriously, Robbie. Well, that's my thing. He should want to come to Arsenal. He should look at it and say, right, Ozil, um, Alexis Sanchez, uh, Wilshire, all quality around the pitch. Yeah, if I go there... That'd be a great, you know, we could do great things. All we got to do is show the ambition to be able to get a player like Griezmann. Say to Griezmann, we're going to get you and another world-class player. And it, guys like that would be attracted. You know, a lot of French guys would be easy to settle in. So, you know, we need to be in the conversation for these sort of players. Um, Elliot says, uh, it won't get, Griezmann won't get to Arsenal because you won't buy him. He's a fan of another club, not sure which one. He said, Arsenal don't buy unless they're pressured. It won't happen. Um, and uh, Javier says, we can't get Grease and Robbie. One word. I love him, but it's harsh and true. Wenger never wants to spend. He's got a good point there. Um, there's this fan here. Um, the writing's in Chinese, so I don't really understand. Apologies I, I, um, for not reading out your name. But he said, Arsenal should get Harry Kane. And I'm an Arsenal fan. Mm. Imagine if Arsenal bought Harry Kane. <laughs> Could you imagine? Why Art Lane? And do you know the other thing is, Harry Kane was at Arsenal. Harry Kane was an Arsenal fan. You've seen the pictures. Harry Kane's parents are Arsenal fans. Die-hard Arsenal fans used to be at Ibury every week. That is the, you know... If you went in there and put a massive bid, would it? he's just signed a new contract. There's no way on this earth that they would sell Harry Kane to us. And uh, also love, uh, finally, uh, finishes and says, uh, Dimitri Pye we should get, um, but Wenger is still refusing. Um, and again, I think, you know, why not get somebody like Pye out there available? Probably going to end up at Marseille, but... I think he'd be a good player at Arsenal. Another bit of quality. Uh, listen, thanks for watching the show. Don't forget to check out the podcast that I did uh, yesterday with DT. Uh, it's been blowing up um, on the internet where we talk about um, football and social media. Uh, and it's just really, really interesting. So check out that podcast. Available on iTunes, available on SoundCloud as well. And also right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching the show. And we'll be back around about the same time tomorrow.